Hi, good afternoon and this is Guinea and Aja. I'm here with your reading about health for April 2020. Understand that this is a four month in a four year. Now the four years started with a bang. The way it started with COVID-19 all over the world. Four is just going to stress more on what it is that we need to change in our lifestyle. Now, four is the number of Mother Earth. <clears throat> so, well, the Earth is locked out. Pra not practically, not uh, completely, but yeah, in many ways. And four is just going to make sure that you take the necessary precautions even further and you are more careful, not only about your health, not only about cleanliness, but about discipline, about organization, about environmental hazards, about ecological balance, about you know garbage management, about everything, everything that has got to do with Mother Earth. So um, the Earth needs to be nurtured. And since we were failing to do so, it's just forcing us to do so. Things are really changing. Life has come to a standstill. And earth, trees, plants, that is the only thing that are still growing. That is, I'm sure uh, Mother Earth must be loving it without the pollution, without the noise. The birds must be loving it. Okay, so anyway, this being a um, uh, month of eight, four, four month in a four year, adding to an eight is a karmic month. When I say karmic, there's a lot of things that is going to happen because it was meant to happen and there's nothing you can do about it. So when you speak about something unavoidable, something destined as far as health goes, we all know death is inevitable. So yeah, it's been happening. A lot of people, no, not the entire population and the race, but yeah, it's happening world over. And there are a lot of people who may go through a lot this month before they actually succumb to it. On the other hand, it's just not physical health that we're talking about here. I'm also talking about mental health, emotional health. There may be people who may you know, out of frustration, desperation, if they live alone, if they are lonely, if they're not in a relationship or they've just broken up before this whole damn thing started. I mean, you never know. There may be people out there who may be into depression, who may contemplate suicide. So please lend a hand, reach out to people, reach out to people you know are alone, even if they're necessarily not into depression or they may not behave like they're into depression. I mean, Depression patients don't really uh, look uh, like they're into depression. Um, they tend to put up a fake smile. They tend to seem like they're happy. They tend to, tend to be happy-go-lucky and everything, but not necessarily. On the other hand, there may be many people who out of financial constraint or, you know, the way things are right now due to financial crisis may think of doing that it's really really a sad way you know I was just wondering yesterday people have been talking since two uh, since 1990 people have been saying that oh the world is going to end when it's 2000 the world is going to end when it's 2010 the world is going to end so and so in 2012 but 2020 seems like more of a time when the world has actually come to a standstill had we not done that, had the government not done that, had a lot of us not, uh, you know, um, cooperated with the government, it probably would have been almost like an end to the world. It seems there are movies that came out with this kind of an epidemic uh, story. Now, these are people who have visions, who, who don't know that they are intuitive and they are not only just creating an idea and manifesting into a movie but it's actually the future that they foresee and um, a lot of things that we may have seen you know in very old movies are one by one coming true so do not take any of these movies lightly um, it's it's uh, 
it was predicted in some movie not as a prediction but as an entertainment movie but it was shown that something like this is going to happen people have been showing the end of the world in so many movies in so many different ways so uh, well what you can do on your part is take care of yourself because if the you in virus is not there we can break that chain. It's on, it only needs a you to break that chain. Remove that you. Distance yourself. Self-isolate. Quarantine. Uh, take care of uh, cleanliness and hygiene and uh, be really, really careful. So uh, you need to take care of your diet. You need to take care of uh, your back because this is an eight month and eight, eight number I've seen a lot the first thing it affects is your back your support system your spine uh, it affects your bones it you know rheumatoid arthritis and things like that and what happens is when we are at home we are not really working we're not going out we tend to slouch we tend to be on our phone a lot affecting the cervical we tend to not uh, you know exercise do our stretches and this tends to weaken the muscles of our back so you need to do stretching exercises to strengthen the muscles of your back uh, you remember the PT sir in school what all exercises he used to make us do do all those exercises and other than that there's going to be people who are going to have issues with nightmares there's going to be dream issues so if you are already uh, you know you've already started having that uh, or you've been having it for a long time start uh, maintaining a journal for your dreams uh, you never know what will come up with it there may be people who may have visits for, from the afterlife like people who passed on visiting them in their dreams or you know them feeling um, that they are around um, other than that uh, this month is going to see I, what I feel is, now I'll explain why. Neptune and Mercury are, are already in Aquarius and they are going to conjunct this month. Um, Neptune is a lot about spirituality. It is, it is the water element, that, that's what I've read or um, I've been told and the god of the sea so take care of your uh, chest take care of your lungs make sure uh, that you keep your respiratory system uh, clean and free by drinking a lot of hot water you could add a pinch of turmeric and black pepper to it you could add, add a, a pinch of cinnamon powder along with honey and half a lime or maybe a little bit of apple cider if not lime what you also can do is uh, if people like to have hot milk with turmeric you can do that another thing that will help is saffron uh, just a, a one or two leaves of saffron um, you know uh, crushed and uh, mixed in milk or hot water drink that with honey or uh, you can apply that on your chest your back your forehead if you don't want to do that you can uh, use turmeric um, to do that the other thing that you can use and that's very effective other than saffron saffron is effective but what i feel is um, you know it shows immediate results is dry ginger powder uh, get hold of dry ginger powder mix it in warm milk or warm water and apply it like a pack on your respiratory area and your back and your forehead right from here to here to here it will clear off the mucus like this and other than of course patting your chest and your back that is what you do and that will help you clear all the mucus if you uh, continue to have a little bit of green tea you know half a cup of green tea every half an hour two hours that will help so that helps you detox that helps all the toxins out of your body but of course too much of anything is bad so what you need to take care is of your respiratory system which is again what the COVID-19 is all about and the virus 
that is the area that it attacks so if you keep that clean it would help and i don't think that it's going to be uh that is going to spread a lot but in certain pockets of the world i i think i mean you know depending on what the numbers of the country or the city are or what the um astrological chart of that country is so the other thing that can help uh, us to remain healthy maintain good health not only take your regular dose of d3 and vitamins and magnesium and phosphorus but uh, the other thing is uh, what will really help is alternate healing pranic healing reiki um access bars um uh, crystal therapy um salt water baths cleansing of uh, negative emotions um doing um salt water um uh, you know mopping mopping your house or cleaning everything in your house with salt water of course after that you'll have to do it with clean water also otherwise it will leave a residue um you can also uh, try burning sage or uh, frankincense a little bit with cinnamon or lavender if you want and you can also use uh, lemon peels or um, orange peels that's what i do uh, and it really helps so um this is what you need to take care of other than that of course uh, you can use eucalyptus oil uh in water to take steam and that would really help if you could take steam if you can uh if you have a tub and you can you know just lie down with some uh salt and hot water and few drops of eucalyptus oil in it so that will really help try this take care of yourself and um so when i did tarot a 8th of april is the new moon and that is when things are going to shift that is when summer in the summer countries is going to increase it is going to help fight um covid-19 and people um from what my oracle cards it's really sad that i get this card and just yesterday i saw a few videos of um a few chinese women who are spitting in public places or lift or uh, you know vegetables and fruits in supermarkets and they are covid positive it's really sad they're trying to take revenge from public from people they don't even know why why i mean there are a lot of people who may test positive and they may end up doing this this card i've got three times i tried uh doing this reading and i've i've recorded at least six times before this final video and every time i reshuffle cleanse and uh you know take uh, cards out fresh so that uh, because i i feel maybe i'm not meant to be doing those cards but this is one card that has come up three times so that's definitely definitely and sadly that uh, that may happen um it's been happening a lot in india too people who are testing positive with covid-19 are going around doing that uh you know on people they want to take revenge on uh on women who probably would have spurned their love they going and doing that to them it's really sad so you are going to need a lot of patience lot of patience this month this is what came up in the relationship analysis as well this is what the numerology says this is what the tarot says and within 10 days so after the new moon things are going to shift because after the new moon the new moon is in virgo and virgo is the sign of diseases um where um it is uh, wh- where where you get these you know um um it's it's also also about organization it's also about discipline in your diet it's also about the earth element virgo is the earth element so it's about your diet it's about your physical body so i feel uh, once that new moon is over 
after the 8th of April, things will start shifting and uh, there may be lockdowns that may start releasing slowly but uh, not everywhere. There are people who are going to want to travel. I also feel I have a strong um, uh, feeling about this card that there is going to be a lot of people, NGOs and uh, people who are going to want to help uh, the doctors and nurses and there are going to be a lot of doctors and nurses who are probably um, not specializing in this field but who would probably come out to help more and more people uh, and I wish they do so this was about health um, love is also that love and compassion is also what will help us all during this difficult time it's it's a difficult time for the entire world not just for me and you so be loving be compassionate be patient and try and help each other try and reach out to each other as much as you can thank you so much for listening please do share this video and what i did was a very generalized reading if you want a personal reading, you know where to get in touch with me. And if you're new to this channel and if you don't know, I have a website you can book an appointment on, which is um, that is G-I-N-N-I-A-N-E-J-A.com. And you can WhatsApp me on my number um, for a faster reply. That is plus nine one eight one zero double eight seven two one three one. You take very good care of yourself. See you soon. Goodbye.